What's up you guys, Zoeb here from OneGlanceTrader.com and in this video I wanted to spend a little bit of time walking you guys through the input settings or version 1.2 of the OGT Zone Recovery EA. Now I've been getting a number of questions regarding some of these input settings and I thought it was easier to create a dedicated video to walk you guys through the inputs. And if you haven't downloaded the OGT Zone Recovery EA you can do so, link is in the description, it's absolutely free. Please remember to like this this video and subscribe to my channel for more content and I'll link in the top right corner the OGT zone recovery EA playlist which walks through all the other videos uh, and all the other releases to do with this potential uh, zone recovery EA so as you can see I've got the input settings up of version 1.2 and the first setting is the recovery zone size. So again, this is where you want your hedge trade uh, to enter or how far away from your initial position. So it's currently set to 200 points or 20 pips and you can change that in the input settings, say to 300, or you can change it in the zone section of your trading panel. Uh, the next one is where you want to set your initial take profit target. Again, done in uh, done in points. So again, you can change that to 300 or use your trading panel on your chart. The next one is your recovery window. So your hedge of trades is what lot size in comparison to your initial trade uh, or your last trade do you want to uh, open it in? And by default, it is set to times two, so it will double. So if your initial trade is at 0 0.01 and the trade goes against you by 300 points, it will open a 0 0.02 uh, in the opposite direction, so it will double. So again, you can change that. If you don't want to double it every time, you can change it to 1.5. It's completely up to you. So the next stage is that... Um, is the max trades and what this basically means is is that in a cycle so when you when it opens hedge positions treat of it at treat it as a cycle um how many hedge positions do you want the uh, trade to or the ea to open in one cycle and again you can set this to five or you can set it to 10 or you can set it to zero uh, and if you set it to zero it basically means that if price keeps bouncing across your recovery window opening by buy stops and sell stops and you set this to zero it'll keep doing that until either it gets you out of the trade in at your desired profit or until you know you run out of margin and it won't let you open any more trades so again so be careful in terms of how many trades you wanted to open and again use the strategy tester especially if you're using the automated automated version uh, of this to test how many trades you know over a given period of time it opens so you can kind of set expectations of how many uh, how many uh, trades per cycle it can potentially open so so that's that feature again you can just change that there and change that to zero if you just want multiple now what this is this is a new feature in version 1.2 that Alistair's put in so this is max loss after max trade in deposit currency so let's just say you've got a one thousand dollar account and for each cycle let's just say you're willing to lose no more than um two two hundred dollars so regardless of how many trades the um uh, the ea is open for a given cycle if you if your balance is minus 200 pounds from your first initial order for all the trades you're in minus 200 it will close out all the trades so it's like your you know last ditch stop loss for more of a better term so again it's, an, it's a good feature uh, to have in there but if you don't want to have a stop loss and let the ea work itself out to get you out of trouble you can set that to uh, zero so user recovery um for take profit so what, what this basically means is if this was set to false and your you set your let's say you went long um, and you set a 30 uh, a 30 pips uh, recovery zone and then it went against you by 30 pips and it opened a sell stop at, let's just say at two I doubled the lot size um, uh, in the opposite direction what the EA will do the EA will get you out of the cycle of the number of trades at your um, initial take profit size so it will wait till all your buy orders and all your sell orders have an aggregate profit 
of plus 30 pips or 300 points and then it will get you out of the trade yeah so that's uh if you set this to false now if you use a recovery take profit um and then let's just say you set that to i don't know uh 10 point uh, uh 10 pips or 100 points what this basically means is instead of hedging you out at 300 points it will hedge you out at 100 points so let's just say you know you went long it went 30 pips against you and it opened a uh, a, a sell stop so instead of you know your analysis was wrong and you wanted to get out of this trade or get out of this cycle as quick as you possibly can it will then now utilize the recovery trade profit as your hedge position so take all your buy orders and all your sell orders when you're at positive 100 points or 10 pips it will get you out of the trade now for me personally i like to use this feature and again depending on what my recovery uh, window or my initial take profit is i always have a recovery take profit so my view is is always set this to true and obviously have this smaller than your uh, take take profit initial take profit target in points um, the next one then is how are you utilizing this EA? Are you trading manually or are you trading um, using the RSI MTF uh, indicator, which is the automated version currently? So if you're choosing manual, basically what it means is, is that you will then use your uh, trading panel over here uh, to place your buy orders or your sell orders. Let's just say you're doing a simple moving average crossover um, and then the fast moving average crosses above the slow slow moving average so you want to you want to you want to hit buy you set your take profit and your recovery zone and then you hit buy and then it will place your order if you place an order using the um uh, using the mt4 new, new order kind of feature the ea will not work you have to use the trading panel for um the ea to then start managing your trade so that's very important to uh, uh, to kind of remember so you have to start using your your panel to kind of do that so that's it in manual mode in automated mode it goes through the rsi mtf which i'll go through in the uh, settings uh, below um so set that there price or pending order so let's just say you want to get in or get out at a um particular price not at the current market you can set your price uh, in this level or you can set it in the uh, in the trading panel window and then hit sell or buy so again it works in the same concept uh, uh, there you just set the price level that you want to either buy it or sell at, and then it will then create your recovery window and take profit based on the above settings now so that's one way to create a manual um, recovery window using the recovery zone size over here let's just say you want to use volatility as an example to determine how big your uh, size is for your uh, for your trading window um, what you can use you can use the atr feature so again the atr is the average true range and it basically adds up all the all the bars so in this case the last 14 bars um, uh, in terms of the range of the candle and then divides it by uh, 14 to give you the average range for the last 14 candles let's just say that that was i don't know 500 500 points or 50 pips as an example what you can do is you can set a recovery you can set your recovery window as a percentage of um of the uh, of of the actual wind of the actual recovery zone and again I don't personally use this because I, I, I like to just use a set fix kind of stop. But for those of you who are using volatility, you guys can not only do that for your recovery zone, but also for your kind of take take profit as well. So if you know that on average, uh, you know, the last um, the volatility of the last 14 bars is 50 points, uh, 50 pips rather, you can use a percentage. So 0.2%, or uh, 20%, 30%, whatever it may be. Uh, for that for that particular particular range there so that's how you use the ATR feature and then if you have this set to true it will override any of these settings or settings that you place inside your trading panel um, and then we go on to the EA trading uh, EA trading settings um, so for example magic number is just for the MT4 terminal to know if you're using multiple EAs that um, is the unique identifier for the EA 
Um, your slippage is, you know, the standard, uh, how far you're willing to enter into the trade um, away from your desired kind of uh, ent entry price. Um, trade on uh, trade on new bar equals true. So <clears throat> what trade on new bar equals true is, is for the automated version, is that when the RSI MTF indicator hits your parameters on on the close of the bar where it hit your parameters, it will open the trade um, on on the new bar, which is kind of closed bar standard that you want. So again, always leave that to true um, from, from my personal perspective. And now we go into the RSI kind of MTF uh, indicator kind of setting. So this is slightly different to how you see my current indicator, the RSI MTF indicator, um, but the principles are exactly the same. So you set your, um, RSI period, your overbought, oversold levels, and then what you do is you set the uh, time uh, time frames of which all have to be oversold or overbought. So in this particular example, by default, it's saying that if the um, fifteen minute chart and the thirty minute chart is um, is oversold or overbought, it will wait for the 15 minute chart in this particular example to come out of overbought oversold levels and then it will place your order in that in that direction so it's a mean reversion strategy um, from that perspective again i'll link to the rsi uh, indicator playlist in the description so you guys can go check check out that uh, video in terms of how it how it works um, and again you can use this one for back testing purposes so you can kind of see how the trade management works and all that kind of good stuff so next one, we start looking at money uh, money management. So there are two ways you can you know determine what your initial lot size is. You can determine it by <clears throat> of your percentage of your profit target, or you can do it by a fixed lot size. The way I like to trade and the way I suggest that you guys do this is do it by a fixed lot size. And my personal opinion is set this to 0 0.01 when you're first testing this out, uh, because this is the lowest denominator that you can uh, trade with. So <clears throat> I personally will set this to false and then set it to 0 0.01. And then depending on what your recovery increase factor is, so in this case it doubles, it will open your buy or sell stops at 0 0.02, 0 0.04, 0 0.08, etc., etc., etc. As part of that, and then you got your timer setting. So, if you are trading the RSI uh, or the automated version using the RSI uh, MTF indicator settings, you can say that only take trades during a particular hour, and this is set to broker time. Yeah, so if you only want to trade in the London session, i.e. it will only open trades in this particular time frame, and then it will manage the trades however long it takes according to your settings to get you out of the trade. So again, that is if you wanted to use a timer, uh, it, that's, that's completely up to you. That option is available to you. Uh, the next one is the uh, profit line color. So your initial take profit target, in this case of 300 points or 30 pips, what it will do is it will then show you where that take profit line is. And then when you start opening your hedging trades, if that happens, the, the line will then move to showing you where price needs to get to to get you out of this trade. So again, nice visual to see if price gets to that level, um, it will then take you out of the trades and close out the cycle at your predefined settings. And the last piece, which I think is really, really cool, is for those of you who use um, visual mode when using strategy tester you will notice that if you go to the settings right at the end um, it goes really fast and you can't see it and then if you just select it one below the, the the maximum it goes really slow so what this does is you can play around with the speed so you can keep it one above uh, one below the maximum play around with the speed so it goes at a nice speed so you can what not only understand what's going on but it's not very slow. So again, a really cool feature that Alistair's add in and it's just really for back testing purposes. So again, these are the input settings. Hopefully that's made it clearer for those of you who still wanted to understand a bit more, a bit more about these settings. Again, myself and Alistair are working on um, additional additional trading strategies. I know a lot of you guys have put your recommendations in and again, we're going through all of that. Again, Alistair is 
doing this for free on his uh, in in his spare time. So you know, I don't really want to bug him and say where's the next update and things like that. So you know, bear with us. You know, we've done pretty fast to get version 1.2 out in the space of a couple of weeks. So really appreciate the feedback. Keep them coming. We are looking at it. We do speak on a regular basis about this. So we are looking to see what else we can add in. And again, a lot of the new features from initial launch to version 1.2 have all come from you guys of bug fixes you have found or this max trades, etc., which weren't inside the previous versions. So I really hope that this is giving you um, some more insights in terms of the inputs. If you've got any questions, email me, put a, put a comment below. Make sure you like the video and subscribe and I shall see you guys in the next video.